I think there were two years when I didn't sleep. Um, <laughs> it, 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 I just remember some times that were so intense trying to do it all. But I think as women we learn um, when it's okay to give up on one and full throttle on the other. And we, we learn how to balance um, whatever the most acute needs are. And for me, the needs of the family came first. Um, I think I could look back and say that um, perhaps I would have been more successful with the male model of success if I hadn't had children, but that wouldn't have been me and it wouldn't have been who I needed to be. When I was at the university, um, you know that one of the ways that is really essential for faculty to get promoted in the university is that they have to publish, publish, publish. In fact, we say it's publish or perish. And um, I was coming up for tenure, which meant you know, the security of a, of a full-time guaranteed position. And I was also in that conflict time of needing the textbook that I felt I could write. And my college, um, the chairman of our department said, don't write the book. That's just one publication. You should be publishing many papers. But I chose to write the book. Um, it also meant I left the university. But those, that's an example of having a crisis where you have to follow what you feel is the best, best for you. I feel successful and I feel that there are many other things I'd like to s succeed at that would give me a greater feeling of success. Um, I would agree that it's the balance that really determines success when you feel like, as a woman, that you can do both, that you can fulfill your family obligations in a successful way and you can have a successful career at the same time. It's, it's a lot to juggle, but I, to me that's the definition of success for working women right now. I think the most important thing is that whatever the job is, it be open to the best qualified person, whether it's a woman or a man. Um, I mentioned earlier that we did these studies when we were trying to include women in um, non-traditional roles in the military. One example to share with you. There was a, a requirement in the Air Force to get planes turned around very quickly and so the question was whether or not women could be aircraft mechanics and so they had tests to see if women could compete with men and the test was they had to pick up this big heavy toolbox run to the plane get up in the belly of the plane do these things with the wires and the plugs and things and then get out of the airplane and close it up and whenever they did those tests the women always failed and they said see women can't do this job but what they did was to step back and break up that task into parts. And they found out that the problem was that the toolbox they had to pick up was too heavy and that women just don't have the same upper body strength as men. And when they designed a system where the toolbox could be by the ladder that went up into the belly of the plane and it would be hoisted up, the women outperformed the men exponentially, that they were more nimble inside the plane. They had better fine motor coordination, their timing was better, their quality control was better. So the example is important because it says that before we judge whether a man or a woman should do the job, we should look at the skill sets and the requirements very carefully that all people have the capacity to excel when they're given the chance. I've had mentors um, and I um, I think it's really important if you're a woman to seek mentors who are both male and female because um, we do think differently and we do um, see opportunities very differently and I, I've often learned that um, my male mentor or my feel, female mentor might see things differently so it was instructive to me to to talk things over with both of them. But I think one of the take home messages I have from this whole mentoring topic is that I feel, and many women in my peer group who consider themselves successful, feel that we have a responsibility to be mentors to young adults such as you. So um, 
don't hesitate as young adults as you're thinking about your career options to reach out to people who are in positions that interest you um, because I hope that they would be willing to help you the way we are willing to help the young people that we work with. So the example is important because it says that before we judge whether a man or a woman should do the job, we should look at the skill sets and the requirements very carefully that all people have the capacity to excel when they're given the chance.